Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Ranger Co. Show. This is our, hopefully, weekly podcast that me and my friend Blubber, who, uh, are, uh, is my, co- who is my co-star, um, t- kind of tra- going rants, we'll talk about different things going on and different announcements, and we're trying to get people that we can interview so then we could be able to ask questions based on what the person we're interviewing does. So we get be able to do this for longer than just 20 minutes or something. We want to try to reach 20, 30 minutes or 40 minutes and stuff. So I decided for this uh, episode, um, we're going to have Blubber give us a topic that he knows about. No, he can actually talk about. And we can kind of go and rant on it. So, Robert. Um, I'll really think of a topic. Because uh, there's a lot of things, but <laughs> I don't know which one to mention first. <laughs> what is something that you've been doing recently that you guys, you want to kind of like talk about, get into? Um, I've been posting lots of shorts on YouTube. Oh, okay. YouTube there's shorts. Been- yeah, if you guys didn't know, Blubber has started his, uh, channel, which is Blubber109, and me and him have been having to do, we've been trying to, since whenever he does videos, he can only really do shorts, because he can't post long videos, so whenever we do videos together, I have to usually post my side, and we're gonna try, where I'm gonna try to find one of my old computers, and I'm gonna be trying to gift it. And I might even do a video where I'll walk up and gift it to Blubber his own laptop. So he'll be able to do longer videos and be able to post them without having to worry about using someone else's laptop or having to use the iPad, which get, fills up fast. Um, I also do see the person that we want to interview is in uh, the audience. So if they're ready, I will bring them up. Do they have a chat? I do not know if they have a chat thing. I think they can actually raise their hand to be invited, I think, if I'm correct. When they're ready. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Or they could just yeah. join. I forgot about that. Uh, <laughs> so, our guest yeah, today I is Electo. <clears throat> That's me. Um. So, Electo. Voice does not match the profile picture. They, don't, they won't really see this anyway. <laughs> they just see a... Uh, my logo. Even better. Um. So, something that I've been a part of and Lecto's been, it has been like the main lead, one that kind of brings it all back together of the Rhea universe. If you guys then uh, remember, we had a book I was creating that was kind of following the story of it, and uh, Lecto's been the one that started the Morales, New Morales country that read to Rhea. So, Recto, what gave you the idea to create St. Morales, which is what we read to oh, Rhea? the creation after- of St. Morales. Well, as you probably know, that was on a townie server. In the earlier days, I created the town there. Uh, when was it? November 21st, 2020. And to be honest, the name just kind of randomly came to me. That's how most of my names get made. That's how Electo is made. That's how most of my characters are made. The names just come to me at random. Um, oh, jeez, my mind's drawing blanks again. <laughs> um. So you you create something else by just like come up with a name. But what what made yeah. you decide to then create um, the nation? Well, I actually had a small town before that. Oh, the na- the nation. I just wanted to expand the Morellis name. That was the main reason I created that nation. Because you came from what Te- Tephrys or like that, right? Yeah, I was in Tephrys before. And then you decided to just Most leave audience, and create it, no or was there like, talking about. or was there like a thing that went, you know what? I don't want. I want to kind of go off on my own. 
instead of being a part of someone else's. Yeah, I never had anything against Tifrinus. I was always on good terms with them. I was in their Senate. I was a uh, high caliber representative of the nation. I just wanted to. Yeah, pretty much. I just wanted to start something of my own. Ah. Uh, and. And then that snowballed into a whole bunch of lore because some dramatic events happened on the server. And then we also made a bunch of stuff up, and that became lore. And now here we are. Alright, uh... Okay. Um, and as you know, I uh, when I created my town, Morales was the first nation I joined. Um, and... February or March? I do not remember. <coughs> I created March. it in February, but I don't know if I joined a nation oh. yet. Until March. But. That would have been February 2021, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. But, um. Do you want to describe what happened? Uh. A couple months later, that led to, uh. What. What basically started the lore that we started creating? That that made it where we had to leave Morales and it well, read to our own nation. What basically started that? Um, well, I'll go, I'll start with the obvious answer. Was the map change that started all that? And I wanted to kind of put some drama behind the whole switcheroo, which kind of came back to bite me because now I can't consider most of what happens in the actual server canon. <laughs> because of how much I've altered the timeline. No, I'm talking about that led to, like, H or C led to that reason why we left Morales. Oh. Because when once uh, that situation Morales happened, times. and we and we all left Morales, which is like what we considered the ending of Chapter One of Morales, and it led to the um HRC HRC anti merge war and and then became L N L R R. Okay, so this was when you initially left as the city that is now Daybreak. Yes. Okay. Which will hopefully soon be under one name. Well I kinda presumed the uh, name change was well the name change was a big reason why most people left the nation. Yeah actually I thought that's in that bring mass up. exodus. And then you went map changer. It, I thought it would be received better, and I was wrong. <coughs> so. And who was the main perpetrator that uh <laughs> that brought up the idea of it in the first place? I believe place? I believe if we're thinking of the same person, they qualify under the shall not be named category. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> the one that portrayed yeah no I, I hope I hope to never associate with that person again but then after that it led to uh like what really happened after that like a after so you, like I was you... absent I was absent for most of what happened after the mass exodus after I stepped down as leader I really chilled that I really stopped playing the server so much uh, and my first mistake after the mass exodus was appointing someone leader who didn't want to lead the nation, which was boom explosion. And I thought that was I thought it was Nate. He, after we created the town of Arcuter that didn't last oh, yeah. very long, which Arcuter actually it did last of, a long time until I took it over. Ar you didn't take Arcuter over. Well, Gold Farm took it over. Arcuter was there, but then uh, Mida had it, and then Mida kind of left it. And since I still had a house there, I kind of like, no one has any. There's no way to get back there, so I'm like, I don't want this going to ruin. So I kind of had a claim yeah. there, so people could be able to get back when they need to. 
because everyone else will have to accept Mida and me. Yeah, and there's like I a ever. lot of old Ranger and stuff from like 2021 there. Like there's a lot of stuff there that was left, and I now because like everyone was inactive, I kind of just went around. I'm like, what can what what can I be able to save from this before people start trying to grief it all? <laughs> like what what special items of like that are named that can I like be able to save? Because I knew that place will get ramshack soon. So, I've been trying to keep it safe as far as I could. It mostly, it the last time it really was used, other than by me, was right before the new server. Because then Mida left, and huh. then Mida wasn't really there anymore. Well, Mida plays occasionally. But in a new server, not really the old one. Yeah, that's most people. I was the only one who actually stayed back and made sure everything doesn't get destroyed. Um, but back to the Morales. <coughs> After you were Power Arcuter and Boom was either, didn't Boom give it to Nate then? Yeah, Boom gave it to Nate the Great. I thought Nate was <laughs> the one that took over right after you. Not Boom. Not associated with the popular comic character, Nate the Great. Oh, wait. I was thinking of Big Nate. Never mind. <laughs> not associated with the, uh,. What? There was some character from my childhood named Nate the Great. I believe he was one of those child detectives. Like well, Babysitter's Club, but designed more for boys, I guess. When you realize that probably no one knows who you're talking about, so like no one would have based him off of anything until you brought up <laughs> I am, character. I am made. so showing my age, I'm sure of it. Um, but after our cuter, we like we created um or I created HRC. Then we had the anti-merge war, which you weren't really there for, and then we had the NLRR merge, and then the Civil War, but then you came back right at the end of the Civil War. Yep, yep, um, don't really want to go into detail on what happened after I came back, because my original intention was to come back to, actually don't remember what I intended on doing. Because it wasn't like I had any power to end St. Morellis or anything at that point. Well, you came, well, you, you came back, you were uh, part of NORR for the um, intelligent agency as the director. Uh, oh, to try to oh, yeah, basically g thing. gather information about St. Morellis and then God reeled and try to ba find a way to try to get back some way. Basically figure out yeah. what was happening. And to be honest, getting it back was surely a matter of luck for me. But then, uh, you uh you got a citation. We thought, well, uh, and then a, you decided. Yeah, I got a twenty-four hour ban, which is okay. A huge I was deal, just trying to say citation, so been almost people, year. so we wouldn't have to go too Over deep. Here. That's why I try to say citation, and I don't say like warnings or any of that. Citation. Yeah. You're making it sound like I'm getting pulled over by the police. Well, if you're a director... Uh, did you... Uh, well, did actually, you, the entire... Did you, that, was that. <laughs> did you brief that throne? Yes, officer. All right. But, um, after that, we thought we were all... It was all done for, so we created New Morales out of NORR. So, well, first, yeah, we, we did it with Ranger Hand, and then um, NORR. I, I'm trying to remember how that how that exactly went down. Why I decided on the name New Morales? Because uh, we I think wanted that was, well, we wanted Morales. I think, it was, I think it was between renaming the city and renaming the nation, and I no, chose it, nation for the obvious reasons. Because you said it was you were like, I don't want to remind, be reminded fully of Morales because this is a new chapter. We're not renaming something. We're making something new. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why we went with new Morales, because and, and the old Morales is still there. In terms of, in terms of actual server lore, new Morales is still around. There was no Exodian war because there were no Exodians on the server. But I, okay. I digress. Okay. Um, and then we had. Oh, sorry, I'm jumping all around the timeline. We had here. the Moralian Revolution, which is what. Uh, in actual game, you found found out that he, that the person that had it got banned, got citated, 
completely yep. cited. And the same staff, the same, the same staff who banned me told me about that. And they, and then they it reinstated you as leader. So how that went down? Because Nate was still part of the city. He was a co-mayor or a, or an assistant or whatever, whichever is the second in command. So he was reinstated as leader after we'll refer to him as the false king was banned. All right. And, I, and he was already on his last leg anyway. He had, he had, uh, he, let's just say he screwed up a bunch before that. And I don't know if this was kind of a, uh, nosedive ritual server suicide type of thing, but. Um. It could have been. He didn't actually care about the server, so. Okay, open Twitch. Because my thing might... Hopefully it's actually still working. Hopefully they're catching all our voices. And we haven't been talking and the mic just hasn't been picking up at all. Um, bro, we, we were talking about the, the Minecraft server I played almost all the time, which was ATS until recently. And, and, and Rhea, which is what we're in right now, is what we were talking about. Okay. Well, the uh, separation between Discord server and Minecraft server obviously happened after the map change. I think I already said that. Yes. And I kind of figured All since right, good. a All right. server... They're getting our voice. Twitch is getting our voice. Okay, good. <laughs> I would have been so mad. to be like... Since a server... <laughs> since... Wait, what the hell is that? Oh, a Discord server directly linked to a nation in the old map doesn't hold a lot of relevance, so that's why I went to the rebranding. <coughs> well, if we're going to talk about the Discord server, I created the Discord server on August 13th, 2021. Two days before uh, Two the days day before the burning of the wooden man... Happened. When uh yeah. him when Alecto was reinstated as leader. Yep. Rich, I invited Alecto multiple times. Alecto joined, then left, and then rejoined with good news. <laughs> yeah. Well, at that point, you had caught me at a very difficult time. Because you just didn't want to hear anything about ATS at all. I didn't want to hear a damn thing about it. Um, but a after <coughs> that, when we when we decided to change from Morales to New Morales, that was when me and Greeno decided to go. Hey, what if we merge? After all of this, yeah. we were going to become New Morales anyway. No, I was, so why not I just merge? I was genuinely surprised. I was just planning on you know coexisting. I was not prepared for any sort of merge at that time. Well, I kind of agree with yeah. merge because I couldn't really physically take HRC out of NLR because we had already merged beforehand. I should say that merge definitely did wonders for the Morellian economy. We almost made it to 1,000 people in total. So close. We got pretty close. About 100 <laughs> away or 200. No. I don't know if we got just over 900 or just over 800. I over 900. Over we were at, I think, almost 950. Uh-huh. But then we started losing everyone because people were either getting banned or they left because of their towns. Uh, got the, uh, ran out of uh, yeah, money. Yeah, town, well, towns run out of money. That's the biggest reason for national residential collapse. Fortunately, with how many are in New Morales, that is not likely. Even if every single city except St. Morales shut down, the nation would still have almost 200 people. Except my nation. My, my nation would not be able to survive. If only, yeah. it, which is why yeah. I'm hoping I get Daybreak back. Because well, if I get Daybreak I back, do, that's going to... Mostly what I do on the old server is I go in, check, check the banks of the yeah, nation. Yeah, that's what I do. City... And the way I get money for those banks is just by voting because you get 
crates for both servers. Technically 18 in total, but, you know. Yeah. So... And you usually get around 1,000 for each voting round. Yeah. So, after that, after the Discord server, and after that, when S4, who was an NRRR contractor, a person that helped build and construct, joined the server and decided to start doing server lore on Discord, which is what started the Rhea canon and differentiated yeah. from ATS. <coughs> that was the official I believe it wasn't it the wasn't it the Zemeckian War that kinda started the whole lore craze in Numerellis? Well that's the one that started Numerellis being officially a part of it, like actually like having its own story. But before we had like actual real life nations and they would like we had the UN oh, and yeah. we would like fight on Cyprus to give it its independence and stuff. Kinda glad we steered away from that. But then I think there's a Mikian was the first actual war with our own characters, our full complete story. Using no uh, real countries. First real immersion into the universe. And we didn't have things like Jabalcon and whatnot. Ever since then, I've been I was already really interested in lore since ATS. Because, yeah, I watched Dream SMP and I was like, I, I've always wanted to make my own story, but I wanted, I always wanted to like have a thing where I could be able to do a story with other people online instead of having to, like, have to act it out in real life. I could act it out in a game and be able to be behind my screen without actually having to physically do anything. And that's what I've always liked, liked doing, which is why I always try to make things seem very cinematic when I'm doing lore. And give it, to, which is why we had assassinations, we had had executions. There's a lot of different stuff in lore that I was very proud of being able to do. Oh yeah. But in Discord, we don't get to do it that way. But I get to at least write out my story, and people can imagine what's happening. And that was like the first time I'd be able to like look at the lore and literally waiting for my boss, and I'd be like thinking of everything that my character's gonna do later in that day. You know, like, literally, I, reading my bus, I'd be like, my character's gonna have this act, it, and he's gonna fight and some guys. if I slash we ever get the money slash know-how to do, like, real animation, not just moving crappy drawings around on a canvas, but actual real... Right, animation. TV-level animation. I suck at drawing. If got, I knew how to draw, I would animate. We got a rich storyline to base it off of. Because... So. I'm in graphic arts, but I just don't know how to draw. If I knew how to really draw, uh, I would be able to animate. Yeah, I know how to draw. I'm just, I just have no idea how to animate. Well, that's what I'm kind of learning I don't more. Even know where to start. Actually, this this month, uh, I'm doing a lot of animating. I just don't know how to draw. Ow, I just bit my tongue. I'll, I'll have to check out some of your animations. Are you able to? Well, I have Adobe <laughs> um, software. Obviously, you'd have so... my permission, but. Is, like, animating existing drawings that aren't yours, is that a thing that is possible for yes. you to do? Yes, I can make, like, a, a, a drawing, get rid of the background, right. and have that character, like, um, move. Like, yeah, I won't be able to have him do any action. The only real animation I know how... The only real animation I know how to do is the classic slide-by-slide. -slide. You know, that was the standard for animation throughout most of the 20th century. Uh, they did away with it in the early 2000s for the most part. The last... You know what slide-by-slide -slide animation is, right? Yes. It's I think. just drawing upon drawing upon drawing. Oh, that's Very just tedious. any animation. The last <laughs> movie to ever be released in that style of animation was released in 1996, so... Actually, isn't that like how every animation works? You draw, and then you draw over that, well, and then you draw over that, and then you draw over nowadays, that. Nowadays, people have computer animation. That's yeah, why, but isn't that the same thing as... That's why you can as... see like, companies like Explosive Entertainment are able to just pump out animation after animation and throw it on their YouTube channel. So, like some things you can see where they, like, they draw it, and they make it like... um. They make it like, op uh, make it like half scene, and then you draw over it again. 
and then they make a half scene and they draw over it again. So isn't that just basically yeah. side by side animation but computerized well, version? And, and in a similar respect, I have like different body parts of characters saved in my photos. Yeah. So when I need to position a character differently, if Pyrus needs to look down for some reason, I could just... What I usually do is I have a picture, I have a standard picture of Pyrus in the angle that I already want him in, which is usually the same angle anyway. Right. And then if I want him to look down, I would put the head <laughs> over that. And then just tilt the head down, <coughs> go back to the first layer, and erase the old head. All right. Now, and, and then draw in any lines I need to. All right. Now, we're going to move this topic. So then Blubber could be able to join us again. <laughs> um, Fair enough. All right. Um, Roblox. We decided to start making a real Roblox game. Oh, Which Blubber has been helping you with. I have not been putting any energy into that lately. Well, a lot of us have also other games to work on. But... 99% of the work I've done on there has been modeling. I'm yes. not even done with the first building, to be honest. There's a lot of... Well, that's really all you gotta of... do. is just do the models, and then Blubber would do the um, scripts and yeah, it... all those stuff. On top of it being a learning curve, there's just a lot of specific parts that are required for a model. It's nothing like building in Minecraft, I can tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I found that it's, out uh, hard. I pretty frustrating. As I said, I suck with drawing, time. so that means anything online, I really have a hard time trying to make. So, like, if it's something already made, I'll use it. So my thing gets, uh, like, everyone keeps saying, oh, you're using all these free models, but it's like, well, it's better than if I tried to make my own. <laughs> you won't even yeah. be able to know what my thing is. Well, if it's a model that, like, requires interaction that I have, that I haven't the first clue how to code, at least not in Lua, which I'm pretty sure is the language Roblox is coded in. I keep forgetting. <laughs> I think it's Lua. I could be wrong. I, I think it is Lua, Jerry's but is I think it, Lua, it, you could but... switch it, but I'm not really sure. But I think it's Lua. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure Google can answer that one pretty quickly. But if we ever do get it completed, I will be able to like, advertise it on uh, in my game, which is Murder Through Time oh. Hobby, which you still haven't played. <laughs> Update. It is Lua. Roblox is coded in Lua. I just googled you it. You still haven't played my game. <laughs> to be honest, I have difficulty going around beyond my initial circle of games when it comes to Roblox. Which is probably part of why I get bored with Roblox so easily. Like my game, I'm trying to add more such a shop that's like seasonal, where like every. Like, every update of, like, um, Halloween or Christmas, the normal shop will get, like, a trophy that has, um, our characters wearing, like, a Halloween outfit or a Christmas outfit. And you get, like, a trophy that's specific to that year's. Because I like the trophy idea of people being able to get a trophy of us, and it seems really nice to be able to carry around in the game. So we're trying to figure out how to make that. I think Broderick figured that out. I just have to make the models. Mm. Um. Now we can go on our third topic. Uh. Because we mostly talked about ATS and we talked about Roblox, but we haven't really talked about the Discord version <coughs> of Rhea as much. The what? Sorry. The Discord version of Rhea. Because we mostly talked about the ATS and Roblox version. And we only kind of hmm. touched based on Discords, but not really. The Discord one... Th there's a lot that you even admit that, like, you, you'll be like, you look away, and then you come back a couple days later, and you're like, what the f... What yeah, happened? Yeah, you know, you look away <laughs> for a few seconds, and then suddenly we're in a whole new universe. <laughs> you look away, next thing you know, there's a... There's a giant crater where a nation used to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally, what happens? Next, next thing you know, an entire race has been wiped out. 
Okay, uh, our, uh, my Ooh, co-star, thing. whoever had to go, um, so, it's just gonna be, well, it's gonna be me anyway, cause he wasn't talking the entire time, other than the beginning. Well. Uh, so, with the Discord version, after the Jamaican War, we had, what were the nations at the time? I think we had HRC, which had, uh, pulled, was succeeded from... Numerellis was still Numerellis. Um, HRC. We had ZK, because of the uh, McCain War. Still had... You know, we had Merc Van. Merc Van was around. I don't think we had Mark Dan. We didn't have, we didn't have most of the... NPC nations that we have now, that's for sure. We didn't have... It won't come to me. Um, I'm not in the right Discord. Okay, hold on. So it was HRC, the McCain, New Morales, BPE, I don't think existed yet. I'm not even sure. BPE <laughs> is I don't one think of those things I'm in... pretty unfamiliar with. Swords only really joined later on, more when I showed him from Cozy, when I like brought him more into ATS stuff. Um, but we had that, we had Serialite, okay. or Serialis, uh, Oh yeah, Serialis was a, uh, Serialis isn't Ray a canon, because I don't necessarily have permission to use the name. <laughs> I don't know if Ochoai, my friend, created it, or if. She got it from something else. Well, technically, right. Yeah, well, most yeah. of the most of the nations that didn't belong to one of the participants, say you, me, Greeno, anyone else I can think of. Um. Most of those nations are not canon. <laughs> After that, we had we had like a short piece before. Uh, NWO decided to attack. Yeah. And it's going to be hard to explain the canon between that turning into a war against the Exodians. But so, yeah. when during the NWO war, that became more when like that was like my area when I started being like one out to control the story for a little bit cuz I during that time before I kept feeling like any story I tried to create would always get like hijacked basically cuz like whatever yeah, I do I kind of just like control enemies or stuff but I want to be able to like uh, during this time it was like I wanted to be able to like have this little thing where I could be basically try to control a story so that each chapter basically was controlled by someone so then they could kind of make it go flow normally without having this grin. I'm like, oh, this guy can now do this. This guy can now somehow kill half the people. <laughs> oh, and half the enemy army is gone. Well, yeah. Done, <laughs> <folks>. <laughs> I, I was like, literally, right yeah, in I didn't wanna, two seconds into it. I wanted to it. make Fleco <laughs> kind of a uh, happy medium between that between, well, half the enemy army is gone, we win, and, oh wow, the enemy's really kicking our asses. You, you know it, what I mean? Yeah. Cause I didn't want to make him OP, necessarily. Cause the way I had powerful. it was, like, these guys were, like, really powerful and stuff. Like, this really had to make where everyone had to actually come together. Like, everyone had to, like, work together and agree on the same thing. Because during this time, everyone was always, like... Every person in each nation basically really hated each other. Because it was really high tensions after multiple wars and stuff. And pe with um, the Civil War that just ended. There's so much tension and stuff. This was kind of be like, everyone needs to learn to get, get together now or we can't win. And that was the problem. The reason we didn't win in the beginning was because no one could agree with each other. They kept thinking of each way so... How they're gonna do it themselves, and because of that, they ended up with us losing a lot. 
So yeah. it, that's why I always give them. You have two options. You do this or you do this. Both of them will leave you to two different things. This can make it where you could beat this really quickly if you guys actually work together. Or if you do this and you're going to go with this, this new storyline. Yeah. I feel like the Exodian more probably would have lasted longer if I weren't under so much scrutiny and pressure to end it quickly. I'm not. I'm still not sure why they wanted it ended so quickly. I guess there was a lot of lore dependent on that war ending. Well, they kind of time skipped it, and then now they want this new war. Well, we all of a sudden, like you ended this one, yeah, so yeah, you get yeah, another that's one. What, <laughs> that's something that has bothered me. Um, so I got a lot of guff. Not gonna say from who. But I got a lot of guff for centering most of my storylines around war. Well, that's because war is what makes these stories interesting. Yeah, and Could then you imagine like... Star Wars without wars? It'd just be star. It'd just be stars. People <laughs> in space, or God forbid, Tatooine. No, that would just be Star Trek. <laughs> Oh, come on. Star Trek had plenty of action. I know that, but it would be the boring version. The next no, it would be the reboot of Star Trek. Which one? <laughs> no, it would be... No, it would be the 2022 reboot version. Because, <coughs> you know... Oh, we, we don't like wars anymore. Mm. As they laugh at people in... Well, I mean, the Federation doesn't want wars at all. It's just a fact of the matter of other folks do <laughs> and there's a lot of you know federation representatives do want war and they're just really good at hiding it but back well, with we're that, not here for star trek with nwo i purposely made it where like one there are so much things i had problems with the map because i was going off of what i thought my place looked like which was i thought my place was made up of different islands because my thing was basically built off of, we mostly use planes and boats. We don't really have infantry oh. because we're on islands and we can't run places. But then the next thing I know is like, oh yeah, everything's all connected to land. And I'm like, I don't have infantry because I'm mostly all boats and <laughs> planes. <laughs> like I have a little bit of infantry, but that's more of the navy because they're all part of that because... We don't really have land. We're mostly just islands. Sorry, I got a lot of background noise going on right now. I'm gonna... I had, I keep checking out yeah, General yeah. because they because of um them talking. I I wish stages actually had like a little chat box. I'd be able to see in the size of them talking. Yeah, like regular. Actual like <laughs> like the normal chat. VCs. <laughs> But yeah, we we're, we're, I was supposed to be like an island, because that's why we had Blubber Castle. That was supposed to be an island. It was Blubber Island. Um, as, it was because it was based on my friend. And since he wasn't a part of it, I wanted something to be a part of, uh, uh, hat to him, basically a part of story in some way, so I had Blubber Island. But then, uh, we found yeah. out my thing was not even made of a multiple islands. So I went with, like, okay, I guess we gotta make our own islands. And then we were like, Oh, you're right. not supposed to do that. And it's like, well, I gotta have some point have islands because my whole thing was supposed to be islands. And they're like, oh yeah, right, you're right, ours, right. Are the same continent. And now it's actually, like, if you try to go there, it's a week away. It's like, I don't understand the sizes anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like, I understand machine doesn't create islands, but it's like, just do what I did. I just kind of made circles. And it's called them, hey, these are islands now. Because <laughs> if you're going to use pixel paint or Microsoft paint or whatever, 3D paint, wherever it is, you could just make kind of like little circles go, island, big circle, island. Because <laughs> that's how I made the, the indies, my own little indie islands. Sword, I did ask yeah. that like many times and I kept getting told no. <laughs> no. 
which is why I literally said that because they made my thing all one corrective place, I decided to go, you know, during the NWO or war, when they, like, blew up the island or my place and caused, like, a giant sinkhole around the island. Um, well, and now it's an island because it caused a big crack that basically split it away from the entire subcontinent. So now it's just floating in water. So we had to like build, so we had to make bridges that connects it, live the land, but still consider the island because it's not actually connected anymore. It's just all a giant liver canal. <laughs> so now I somehow had to get Blubber Island, Blubber Castle back <coughs> from PE. Mm. Like right now, with all this like continental war stuff, they probably don't want having this like extra mm. island there because it 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 the, the nobles are probably going to try to hide there and if the nobles hide there they're going to plan something probably take yeah, on P themselves because those nobles are going to use that thing well isn't free real estate when you kind of took it from us <laughs> um yeah um BP or now it's PE, but BPE being basically South um HRC basically. Um, when they became split, I decided to go. Hey, I've always wanted to bring back the uh communist HRC since we had a socialist HRC and the communist HRC, and since we were yeah. socialists, I decided, hey, why? What if we had a communist? Agency that split and that caused a civil war. I mean, if it's just server lore, <coughs> it's not gonna bother me. So that's um, what we. So during the uh, the issue I would have with that happening in, like, if I ever made an actual story out of this, like I've been talking about doing since the dawn of time. Yeah. Um. I would have issue with including <laughs> real world government functions government. I don't know what the name. Well, a lot of the government communist is. Yeah. But government functions, whatever they're called. Yeah, I don't like that they go off of based off of like HR, HRI four, I and mean, most of that is just based off of what the creator of the game said. Hey, we're gonna use this. It's like not. This still. Mostly based off of real life, and that's the one thing we don't really want to be with. Like, I compare most yeah. of my, my thing with the United States. Like, I, I understand that. But that's because that's where I'm from. But when you're going off of HI4, you're just going off of a game that's literally just says, Here's World War II, but alternate. Whoa. <laughs> Oh man. Picture I, I four is just communism, but in a game. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Somebody agrees with me with that. Neut neutralism <laughs> was basically just keep us the hell out of your problems. Thank you. Thank you. Come again. You know. Your diplomatic problems are not our diplomatic problems. Cause remember, during our civil, during the civil war, you, de cause like Greeno, if I'm correct, wanted to move the troops into HRC to help. Well, you decided to go executive order and went, no, you guys are gonna wait until we see what ha what finishes, what's happening. Didn't wanna. You know, jump right into a war. But then you went into a war right after anyway. <laughs> yeah, that happens sometimes. That's <laughs> politics. Uh, don't we love politics? <laughs> don't we all? <laughs> um, I think that is it for today. Then oh. we're coming close to 45 minutes, so this is actually a really good episode. Uh, really happy how this came out. Just cause I made it, huh? Uh, actually, someone I can actually talk to for a long period of time. Cause hey, like I'm when I'm playing with like, like brother and stuff, 
we kind of talk, but it's mostly just kind of one word conversations, not really uh, in depth. Pretty sure I've been in your videos before, but mostly as a background character. I think you've been in not it really when we played. Uh, you know what I mean. When I played ATS for sometimes. I think, uh, yeah, like we, we got Greeno. We sometimes. were in a voice chat and you were recording. I remember. Yeah, because I used to always do that. I would just kind of go in ATS general and go, "Hey, anyone want to draw me? I'm I streaming." <laughs> I remember that because every time you do, I always go, hey, careful, because that could actually piss some people off. And then people would be like, like just drawing and start soaring up the storm. It's just like, and I'm moving. <laughs> but, um, thank you for being able to ha have time to be here and be interviewed. It was really nice to be able to talk. To, uh, be able to interview and stuff for season two of Ranger Co. Show. Um, and thank you for not asking any questions about my real life. Well, <laughs> I'm trying not to really be as much of real life as much, except when it's at like, games and stuff, but not really real life stuff, unless it's unless the person that actually works f for a thing that we're going to be talking about, which is real life, like uh, yeah, NASA yeah, yeah. and stuff. If, which, we will if, be able to... Talk to you yeah, soon. If we if we ever you know throw together some kind of animation studio, obviously we'll talk well, about that. Well, I am a studio, especially, so especially <laughs> if it, like, pulls in money. Well, I am a studio, special. so you could <laughs> technically just yeah. be like, "Hey, I'll join a studio and we can get some animationers, animators." <laughs> oh man, how good do you think you are at animating? Like, oh. Honest to God, how good do you think you are? Well, I'm doing animating uh, tests this month anyway, so I'm going to be getting well, better at it. <laughs> well, testing is the way to get better. Because we're going to be using After Effects, Adobe After Effects. Ah, uh, see, I don't have any software by Adobe. I got them because of school, so I get them all for free. That would be why I don't have any software by Adobe. But, uh, Money. thank you for being here. It, uh, I'll be seeing you, uh, next time, uh, when we come back and interview you again for maybe, a, uh, later on when, uh, when you, when you send your forces in to take me into the interrogation room against my will. When I, uh, talk to you about, that, that's where we are, by the way, audience. We're in Ranger's personal interrogation room. Yeah, because he sent of his that. Guys over because of that one moment when, uh, he, when this uh, Seth here, uh, caused the death of one of my Jedi. J Jedi. Yes. Oh look, we're getting sued by Disney. Ah, <laughs> Not again. Okay, Disney, sponsor me. <laughs> Okay, okay, Disney, sponsor me so I can use things from your... Yeah, from, like, sponsor me and, and let me use everything about Disney. <laughs> Fortunately, make... <laughs> I don't think you get hit with a cease and desist just for talking about the... Well, wait, do you watch a lot of Disney? Uh, well... Depends on what you call Disney in that context. Uh, anything that's owned by Disney. Oh boy, I mean, I watch a lot of Star Wars. They're owned by Disney. Oh, okay. I do so not we could watch, do. I do not watch much uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe or just Marvel in general. All right, because that—that's right. I kind of lost interest after the first Avengers movie. <laughs> Maybe next time you come back, we could do a uh, Star Wars episode. Just talk about Star Wars. We totally could. Yeah. Because I totally also have watched, I think, every single movie except Rogue One. And, uh, you haven't seen Rogue One? No, I haven't good. seen any of the side stories. Of uh, side no. movies. Um, let's see, I don't even know how many times I've seen Rogue One. I've that's also probably, not seen Andor yet. That's, but... that's definitely the highest rated Disney Star Wars film is Rogue One. So or wait, you're kind of you're kind of missing out. There's also <laughs> Solo, right? Yeah, um, Solo didn't get it. Get it. I also good didn't rating. watch that one. A because <laughs> obviously they couldn't use Harrison Ford because. Actually, CGI did I watch Rogue One? 
I do not know if I, uh, I do know there was, like, one where, like, at the end, they sat down as the place exploded. Yeah, I, I've seen every... Was that World 1? Wow, spoiler, okay. Um, no, was it? I don't I've know. Seen... I'm generally asking. I've seen every Skywalker <laughs> Saga movie, easily. Um, I don't even know which characters they were. I just know at some movie, a character well, sat down and a place. Let's see. The, the two entire place main. It, it was a group of characters, but the two main main characters of Rogue One. So it was Rogue were One. Were Jyn Erso and Cassie and Andor. Okay, I think I did see that one. Okay, yes, I think I seen that movie. Once, I only though. remember. And I, I watched it when it first Cassian's came out. Cassian's name. Okay. I only remember Cassian's name because of the new Disney Plus series. <laughs> But as I said, we were supposed to end this, but we got carried away. <laughs> well, that happens. But, um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to go check out my main channel, where this podcast will be coming out. Uh, I will also be putting this on, uh, Blubber's channel and Ranger Co.'s channel. But the Ranger Co. one, this will come out, actually, today. I'll have it come out today. Well, today? for my main channel and Bubba's channel, it'll actually come out Sunday. Don't worry, audience. Just so you can hold them to it. Today is Monday, November 7th, 2022. Just so you can USA hold USA time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 2.38 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. <laughs> um, But see you guys next time, and goodbye!